Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a makeup tutorial with the Tarte to Let in Bloom palette. This is their second palette. Um, I don't really go out and get like what's hot and new kind of palettes because I usually buy like single eyeshadows to make my own palettes. And um, But this one just called to me. I don't know what it was, but it was just so beautiful because I usually don't go with palettes with so many light shades because I can't really do much with that with my skin tone. But I could use this as inner corner highlight. I could use this as, let me hide the mirror, I don't want it to blind you guys, but I could use this as light shades as inner corner highlight, I could use it as a brow bone highlight, I could use them. The one I'm really really looking at is the pop of Gleam here, it's just so beautiful all over the lid, I've used this in the crease so many times, it's just a new fave crease transition shade. I haven't really gotten the chance to use Leader as the shadow on my um, by itself. Like I would really love to do like a smoky eye with Leader. That would be amazing. So what I'm going to do today probably is going to turn into a smoky eye. Nothing so neutral because I have been using neutral so much. So um, if you want to see how this look turns out, continue watching. So I've already done my full face routine and everything. If you want to see something like that, I have a video of my full face routine. Nothing has really changed. And my previous video, I did do a full face routine routine but um yeah um yeah I already put down my base this is uh pro long wear pro long wear paint pot and laying low I put that all over my eyelid so that's laying low uh, this thing is nice this is one of my eBay replica brushes from the real techniques not the actual one um hmm. I'm gonna use gesture just just <laughs> I'm gonna use jet setter and I'm just going to put that in the crease and see how that shows up on me. You see a little bit of gunk on my lash line that is like blue from yesterday that doesn't want to come off. But don't worry. I think I'm doing more eyeliner again today. So, this is coming off a bit smoky. And I like that it actually shows up on me. Let me zoom in a little bit. Much better. This is a Sigma E40. I'm gonna go in with the leader. You know what? I'm gonna go in with the rebel in the crease. That's that nice burnt orange tone. Yeah, it gives a really nice pop. I'm going to use Flower Child. It's probably going to be a really, 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 really strong bio highlight. Yep, I was right. <laughs> That's the beauty of blending out. Oh, it's not that bad. Flower Child is this ivory shade right here. And so I pretty much lay down my brow highlight and then I'm going back with this brush. I'm just going to rub off the crease shade a little bit off of it. Blend in between the brow and the crease shades. And it just works. Like, it's not too crazy like it looked before, so. So let's go back into the crease action. What am I going to use next? I kind of want to use leader, like, it's like calling to me. Let's use a pinch of leader, which is this dark, beautiful maroon. Oh, gorgeousness. All right. I guess we're going for that smoky today, people. I'm gonna do it really blown out. That's my favorite kind of smoky. I don't really like the structured smoky eye. I kind of like blown out. Amazing enough. So smoke show, which is this really, really, really dark shade. It's like a grayish black. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with the really, really dark brown to smoke it out. This is even more. That's called activist. 
and that's it right here. I'm gonna add that in and then probably gonna finish up the look with firecracker all over the lid. Oh, maybe I should've used it. Maybe I should've went in with a more compact brush. It's okay. I haven't got a spooky eye in a minute. Let's go all out. Why not? All right. Ooh, yes, comes the real smoky goodness. Hmm, why haven't I done a smoky eye? This is delicious, hold on. Just keep on blending. The key with smoky eyes, you want to keep on blending. Have various brushes, but something like this, it's so handy in your toolbox because it is so flared out and it's, it will give you the blendability that you want. So if you're just using compact brushes like this, this is more like a pencil brush or something like this, which is like a crease. This is a pointed blender, but it's so compact, you won't get the blown out look that I'm going for. So this brush, amazing. I believe Morphe is much more cheaper than Sigma, so you could definitely find something like this at Morphe. All right. So you just want to keep on blending. It's the fun part, you know. I'm gonna cut through it. That's the beauty of editing. But you just want to blend until it's fully, fully, fully blended. So yeah. I'm just gonna go back with this brush again. I kind of do that. I cheat when I do my makeup because I don't want to wash so much br brushes. <laughs> but um, use appropriate brushes. They make your life easier. But I'm just gonna use this and use this beautiful firecracker shade. As you can basically tell, the tart symbol is already gone out of this because I have used this um, palette oh so much. So that beautiful gold right here called firecracker is gonna go on my lid. And this would be amazing. Oh, just life. Just all the life. Who does not love a gold shimmer on the lid with smoky goodness? Like, are you even living? Are you living for this right now? Because I am. In real time. This makes me not want to even do liner. I want to just put like 415 lashes on my eyes. Alright. Then after that, I'm not going to use this to go back and blend again because it has a little bit of dark shadow in it. Or you could try to, you know, clean it off on a tissue and go back in. And then some more. So, I am just running this through my crease to blend the lid and the crease shade. A rebel, which is that medium red tone shade right here. And I'm gonna go back into my crease and help with the blending. I am you losing a little bit of the deepness. I'm going back in with activist and a little bit of leader and bring back some of that good dark darkness on the outer corner. There's a lot of back and forth. Not too much. Just a bit. Go back and forth and perfect your smoky goodness. I'm gonna go in with Funny Girl because it's really simplistic. It's kind of like a, just like a pearl, a nice shimmer. I'm gonna take some of that and, oh yes, comes through shimmer, yes. Yes. Even if my eye wasn't as glamorous, wasn't as, wasn't as gorgeous enough, you need the extra shimmer in the inner corner. You just wanna apply it in a controlled way because sometimes, I do this, I would take a shimmer and I'll just like go crazy all over here and it won't look as great unless that's what you're going for. You kind of want to place it 
in the very inner corner like this part of the lid and just press in your inner corner highlight and you're just gleaming like you didn't even put face highlight on yet but you're looking amazing when you want to do the bottom lash line and smoke it out real good you're gonna need a short shader this is the e20 by sigma but there's definitely a good alternative with morphe way cheaper good stuff okay so you kind of want to use this in tight line into your bottom lash line. So I'm going back in with the leader and I'm just going to place that in the very close, 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 close place underneath my eyelid. I'm not going to take it too far all the way in, maybe halfway and make sure to really push it in there and smudge it. I'll blend it out later. Okay. And you know what? I'm just going to keep it as leader because leader is so deep. I don't need to add that other dark, dark, dark shade after this. I'm just going to leave it as this shade because it's different. You can really see this color displayed on its own. Well, it came in deeper. <laughs> I blend it pretty much all the way underneath my eye. These are the House of Lashes Iconic. I was going to get say goddesses because I wear them so much. So I have my Iconics on and I just added some Urban Decay Perversion on the bottom lash line to really make it, you know, together with the lashes. And I'm going to add some blush and highlight. Um, I'm going to try out some new blushes that I had for like the longest. I think I'm going to add Sketch. We're going to use number 509. Hmm. Okay, let's try really strong add a little bit more not more well on the other side as well this should be more of a contour shade on top I'm gonna use desert rose by NYX because I want a little more of the rosiness gotten a chance to really really play with my ColourPop highlights. I have K-Pop, K-Pop Glow Up and then Wiz by ColourPop. So I'm gonna mix these two and glow from the gods. So I'm gonna add Glow Up first. I'm gonna really get that on there. I think I should just keep it as one shade on my nose, you know. I have a lot on this brush. I'm going to add some wisp. Just a tiny bit. Wisp is much lighter. Androgyny has to be done already. Then we go with the probably tell this is where I have all my new liquid lipsticks I have to do a video on <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with androgyny because hello it is it is beautiful so so here we have androgyny and let's do this So that is it. That is the makeup look. This is androgyny and it's so beautiful. It has to dry down. You can totally see how gorgeous it looks. But yeah, that's it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. That palette is the bomb. This lip color is good for me. Life. If you like this video, be sure to like it. Share it. If you haven't, do subscribe. It's free. I do upload. You should check it out. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.